ba 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 All right, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to a very English hyperlight drifter. Uh, God, that's a that's a cool name, but it's a mouthful to say. Very English hyperlight drifter. Hyperlight, hyper, hyperlight, hyperlight, hyper, hyper, hyper space, hyper time, hyper. Uh, 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 brilliant commentary. All right, so last time we went through the stunningly um, literate intro of the game, and uh, and now we're going to see what uh, Armor McMuscle Pants has left for. Oh, he left a map. Oh, this is the other part of the game I love. This is the map. This is all that the map is. Oh no, it's not all. You can also see this. It doesn't this say so much? Doesn't this just tell you everything there is to know about the game? No, of course it fucking doesn't. It's... It, look at this! Look at this! And the worst part... Okay, we haven't even gotten to the worst part yet. But, you, uh, you know what? As, as I enter into the hub world, or not... Oh, yeah. Uh, we we go um, north first to get a triangle dingle. Uh, see? So you look at this. You go north. You open up the... Okay, so here's the thing. When you first play this game, and you know nothing about the terminology, this sort of thing right here, do, 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 do a little, wave your hand over this thing. You see this? This means nothing to you! I, I get that it's abstract, I get that it's supposed to be like a Dark Souls alike, so it doesn't hold your hand, it doesn't really tell you shit, and at least this one escapes the whole Dark Souls-esque fantasy babble, but, but I mean, look at this, this means nothing! This means it's, not, it's a triangle! You go, apparently you go either north, and you get a triangle from north, and then the triangle goes into this thing from, or from the thing? You don't, I don't, I, I had no idea. When I first played this game, I didn't know what the fuck that meant. Now I know, uh, I'll go back and activate it a third time. Fascinating, oh I should start my fucking timer. Fascinating gameplay. Uh, yeah, so now I know, you see the little, the diamond shaped thing on the left? Those things are what you hunt like a fucking man searching for water or puss and dying from lack of both or butt or dick or whatever this man likes. Um, uh, you, you search for those little diamondy things and from those diamondy things you get magic triangle dangle dongles and those magic triangle dangle dongles uh, uh, get put into the big diamondy dangle dongle that I'll show you in a moment out here. And that's how you progress in the goddamn game. Oh, and these are warp points. You use these and you can teleport to them at any time. As it's probably about to say in the few moments of actual useful text. Warp here at any time using the map. See, there we go. Ah, sip of water one moment. And see, yeah, this is the thing we have to activate. Sure looks like that shitty piece of death magic that was in the intro, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Ah, uh, sure does. That's great, but we're gonna activate it. Ah, uh, see, it gets it gets dark. My controller's vibrating as I step on it. That can only mean good things. So uh, we're gonna go north. Um, there are people here who say things. Basically, this man. He was in an alleyway. Uh, he, the, a dog man looked at him. Um, uh, no, a dog man stole his shit. Um, armor mic. Um, shovel knight mask. Uh, from earlier in the game came and saved his fucking asshole, I think. Uh, maybe? And then he and his bunny wife uh, waved this glorious hero forwards. There are shops in here, I can buy new techniques, I can't yet because I have no fucking money. Um, but I will be able to soon, presumably. So uh, let's get into the actual game. But yeah, that map, oh, that map is one of my first issues of, of several that I have with this game. It's a fun game, it's super challenging, it's, oh, I guess that was just health, which I have full of, so that's useful. It's challenging, the combat is fun, um, each enemy and each boss is less like uh, a hack and slash beat em up, and more like, like, just a puzzle, you have to figure out, okay, what works, what are his attack patterns, you have to follow his attack patterns, and I've never played a Dark Souls game, but I assume that's very Dark Souls-ish, or esque, or like, or whatever. And and see, this is, this is the other thing. You also have to explore like crazy in order to get the shit that you need. These boxes are money, and you get four of those little dingle, the, the four little clicky clackies, 
and you get one money, and you need two or three money to buy most things. See, and there's the wall from uh, Shinjeki no Kyojin again. So, uh, borrowing all sorts of inspiration from different things, uh, and see, and that's the other thing! You have to explore a lot in this game! Yeah, oh Christ, you're not a good person. You have to explore a lot in this game to find anything. All those little triangle dongles that I said, uh, diamond rather dongles that hide the triangle dongles that you have to find. Ah, oh, fuck me. Okay, that was close. Thought I was gonna fall and die horribly, but I didn't. That's a uh, fuck you, little tiny robot octopus man. The combat is hugely satisfying. Much like in Dark Souls, apparently. But the, the exploration part of this game, it tweaks my nipples. So, I uh, fuck you! I didn't even see you! Bastard. The the exploration part of this game, this game, Jane. Sorry, Jane. I didn't mean to lump you in with hyper light drifted. But the exploration part of this game is really what twists my nipples and puts them in a clamp and twists the clamp off so that I have no nips. This game has left me no nip, Jake. I'm running around somewhere and I don't know where it is. But gosh, it's really hidden. That's the other thing. You have to explore a lot in this game to find what you need, which is what I just said, and I'm repeating myself because I went off topic, which is kind of a fucking thing if this is uh, your first time watching- Ah, oh, fuck. Watching this series. Um, I, I go off topic a lot is, is my- Ah, and there's, there's that. That is gonna happen a lot. I see it happen another time. God damn it. Now I get to waste one of my precious life potions, or life needles that I inject in my fucking spinal column through the heart, in order to actually use. That was useless, why was that even there? But you have to do a lot of exploration to find the shit that you need to progress in this game. And you also have to do a lot of exploration to find shit that has nothing to do with progressing in this game. Progression. Progression, progression, progressin, sin, basically. Uh, train of thought babble. I'm a, I'm a poet and I didn't even have any sort of verbal knowledge about that. Bye! Sorry. This game gives me a lot of angst, and I haven't even gotten to the angsty parts yet. But yeah, you have to do a lot of exploration, and much of that exploration boils down to walking into tree lines until you find the part of the tree line that isn't a tree line. Like, yes, I respect it. There's little language bits here that you learn as you move forwards, like, okay, there's a little pathway on the ground, and that pathway means that you can go into the trees, and those trees hide things that you need in order to progress. And you'll figure out what I mean as we go forwards, but it's good. Oh, look. Oh, look. Here's a man. Let's talk to this man. Um, beardy, uh, rock face is up here. And he's presumably, uh, what do you know? The boss. So, you'll find people and things like this throughout the game that'll mark basically where you need to go and what your objectives are. I just wasted that. Um... And they say it in really obtuse and obscure ways. I don't actually know what he's doing there. Maybe he used to be a mountaineering chap, but then Beardy McRockface shoved him off his mountain perch, and now he's just sitting there. Oh no, I'm coughing blood again. That's not good. Bye, blood. Bye, bye friendly blood spurts. I'll miss you when you go to the black, goopy void. Uh, anyways. So, we're getting close. So, yeah, this is the thing. You need those triangly, diamondy things to progress, but you also need these little key things to progress, and those key things are about as- oh Christ, these bastards. Fuck me in the- fuck you. Okay. Alright, see, there's timing. You can also shoot them, but uh, you'll figure it out. The combat in this is all timing and experimentation and variation, and it's very interesting. And I'm amused by it. But it's just- it's so damn complex. And it doesn't tell you jack fucking shit! You have to explore and learn on your own, and the irritating part about this, I wouldn't mind. You know, I wouldn't mind if, and I don't realise this is episode 2 and I'm already launching into a diatribe on why this game is both bad good, um, and, I, and, and that's really not fair, I understand, like, I'll give it a chance, and you should definitely, if you're interested in this kind of hacky, slashy, jumpy, rumpy, Bonanza, you should definitely buy and play this game. It's not expensive, it's not difficult, and it's fun, and it's challenging, and you'll have you'll you'll want to rip out your fucking pubes, man, woman, bi non-binary friend. Uh, you'll definitely oh, balls to you, bird, dick. Come on, you little cloaco, you where? Fuck you! Ah, shot you in the face. Uh, I mean, I suppose it wouldn't wear a cloaco. I mean, unless. 
Unless they're, unless much as we have dildos in human society, flying evil birdmen have a detachable and attachable cloacas. Or cloacas, I don't actually know how it's pronounced. I see that? This is cool. It's scope. We'll be over there at some point. Right over there. We're right up on that man's face. We'll, we'll actually reach them. We'll be able to see it. And it'll be cool and fun. As scope and distance. But at the same time, we'll also be doing this a lot. Is, is there anything over There's nothing over there. To try and figure out where we need to go. So, I will do my best, my beautiful, wonderful viewing several, to uh, keep ahead of the game. Um, keep, keep my head in the game. And try and know where I'm going each episode, so I won't. I'll, I'll do my best to not actually reach a part in the game where I haven't played at least a little bit, so that I have some direction. But eventually, we are going to reach a point just because this is an exhausting game to play on your own. Or if any, I, I could shoot those people, but I'm not going to. Um, this is an exhausting game to play on your own. Oh, fuck you! That's right. That's a very satisfying part of this game. Just taking people- oh! Oh, lion! Lion, 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 lion from Steven Universe, except you're green and evil and I stab you with my sword. Um, but yeah. There's gonna be a lot of variety in this playthrough. Either we explore, and we slash, and we hit, and we have fun, challenging combat times. The combat in this game is much like the exploration is in Super Meat Boy, so you'll all love that. Come on now. But there'll be also a lot of times where either you will reach it. What the fuck is this? I've actually never been down here before. It's a holographic man, and he lit up a weird um, pillar. It goes. It, it vibrates. So that's cool. So that happened. A lot of the stuff in the game, you do stuff that happens, and you don't really realize what it is until you've already beaten the. Ah, oh, that's right, it's Birdman. See? Birdman was once. An innocent member of the villagers on this mountain. He had a lot of eggs, and he loved his eggs. His eggs were his favorite thing. But then men with staves, staves, staffs, staffy stave staffs came, and they burned his eggs. And he brought a bunch of eggs with him over to this mountain and ran away from his village. And now he's watching over the birds with with their with their eggs. And that's world building for you. Huh. So um. Yeah. You, you've basically only seen the exploration -y part of this so far. And we're nearing the end of the episode. Again, have, I've made some progress. We've seen what the basic parts are of playing this game is, but I'm going to go a little longer um, just to say, show you guys some actual combat. And, oh, God. Ah, oh, fucking Anubis again. Where the fuck are you on, Anubis? Yeah, ah, Anubis is shooting people up at, up at, come on, let me, let me jump, let me go on the platform, I wanna, I wanna hyper light drift onto that platform, but you're not letting me, so fuck you, mum. Um, and so my other friend, he's got a pink dangly dongly flying, flying buddy, I call this man Buddy Bolt, cause I recently watched a playthrough of, uh, of Sonic Boom, uh, but yeah, this guy goes around in front of you and shoots people, but not all the people, just enough so that he's basically fucking useless. Um, and when you find him, you meet him and he shows you uh, useless little points on the map of where the things that you need are. And look, this man, he wanted the triangles and he went to the depths and he fought against the fucking big meaty snake. It looks like the devourer from Tur Devourer? Devourer? Sorry, my accent is getting the better of me. From Terraria. And, uh, and, and it had a big pink diamond on its head. So he fought against a uh, devourer from Terraria meets Marina and the diamonds. And I guess that was... Should I not have done that? Oh, that's right. You can't actually attack this man. You, ca you can't kill him. He's, he's an important man. And there are these weird creepy pillars. Oh, I should go on that side and see if there's anything over there. Um, but yeah. You meet this man who saved you early in the game and he comes up a bunch of times and he kills people and he tells you where you need to go to also kill people. Um, but, yeah. Hopefully... Ah, see! I got four of those things, and now I have one money box. Uh, money... Money pixel. Money picks. Uh, money picks. That's uh, a new app by Jake English. Money as top humor level there. Jake, say something interesting. Or type it, I suppose. Did you do it, guys? Was it interesting? Did you, did you enjoy it? 
See, I'm going off the beaten path an awful lot in this game, as uh, as you'll continue to see, because that's basically the farther you go in the game, the more you learn. The main path of the game actually has shockingly little on it. Not not in terms of like, oh fuck me. Okay, ah, balls to my face. And uh, there we go. Uh, the the actual core gameplay of it, you can just go around and you can collect. You, you can fight people and you can try and collect all the little triangle, tri uh, triangly diamondy. Ah, oh, fuck you, triangly diamondy dongles that you can. But uh, to actually complete it, or at least feel uh, satisfied with your completion of it, you have to go and f run it. Ah, oh, fuck! I thought there were more walls before you guys would get to me, but you didn't, and you lopped off probably a bit of my shoulder bone. Ah. Uh. Oh yes. But yes. Core parts of Hyperlife Drifter that you'll see as we move forwards, and, and I'll go a bit farther to, to show you guys a bit more of like dungeons and that sort of thing. Um, Legend of Zelda, uh, um, what's it called? Uh, the pixely one for the NES. I know everyone who loves Legend of Zelda is like Jake, go go go, go emasculate yourself. How dare you not know the name of that one game that you actually have not played because you don't own a fucking NES. Couldn't jump there! Can I jump into the waterfall? Nope! And there goes another one of my precious life syringes. And, uh-oh. Bad birdie man. Are you a friendly birdie man? Nope! You shoot magical dicks. Fuck you. Um, but yeah. Key parts of Hyper Life Drifter. Legend of Zelda, the whatever of whatever. Um, esque exploration with little to no hand holding or even hands at all this is so this is so not hands on that it basically cuts your, your arms off at the wrists um you can put that on my professional review couldn't go there that's the other thing that that's what irks, irks me like i don't mind exploration based games i love wandering games i love the witness that i, I didn't I, I beat it early, too early to actually play it on here uh, it was fun. I love exploring and finding new things and not having my hand held. That's a great thing. It's a fun experience for people like Jakey Pooter to... Where the fuck am I? Hello? Uh, hello? Oh, good. Oh, that's that's one of the... I always wondered what this was. Or not? Do I need a stronger gun? Nope. Just doesn't do anything. And now I've wasted all my bullets. That's cool. But that's also a key thing of what irritates me. Exploration without hand-holding is fine. Exploration where the exploration consists of running against walls or leaping off ledges until you find the one ledge that you can actually- Oh, balls. Uh, that you can actually- Oh, fuck you. Fuck you! Oh, fuck me! Fuck me! Oh, I died. Oh, I super died. I just super fucking died right there. Uh, that's a good place to end episode two! Uh, with me super fucking dying. And you'll see a lot of that and a lot of this animation of getting up off the ground. Especially when we finally reach boss number one, which I haven't even gotten to yet, and which many people quit after reaching because it's so damn fun. Fuck you, Birdman. Fuck all y'all. Oh, God. Hey, oh, you just fell right into your own floor trap. But, yeah. Those of you, I've watched a bit of, like, Dark Souls and Bloodborne and that sort of thing. And those of you who are familiar with that gameplay know. It's a lot of dodge and counter, dodge and counter, Matt. Uh, that you basically do. You, someone attacks you, you dodge out of the way, and then you have the one split second available to you, you attack him a couple times. That's basically all the game is. Uh, can't use that right now, so I won't. Oh, hello! Hello, you bitch! You bastardy bitchy face. Bastard bitch face, that's who you are. Um, but yeah. It, so yeah, it's it's half half part Legend of Zelda esque exploration, half part running around Dark Souls, he's slashing and shooting at people, half running into walls until you find the one wall that you can pass through to get to secret area that's not actually optionally secret, and uh, and the parts that I enjoy are parts like this where there's cool combat, interesting rules for each enemy, everyone fights differently. Everyone does different things, and it's really challenging, but also rewarding, because fighting and slashing your hyper lighty swordy thing into people is really satisfying. But you have to learn the patterns, and that's the- ah, fuck you. That's the challenging part of that! 
Ah, oh, no, not more birdie friends. But, uh, yeah. You'll you'll see a lot of all three of those as we move forward. I think those was, what, a 20 minute long episode? Oh, fuck. Fuck you, puppy. And fuck you, fat priest. Fat priest! You're a fat priest! I don't... I, being fat isn't the problem. Being priest isn't the problem, actually. None of what I just said is that... I uh, see. I did the challenge, and now I get a little victory pose. And, and instantly pick up the sword that I just slammed into the into the earth, which would be really bad for my sword, um, were it an actual non lasery thing. But, uh, it isn't. And now we have a new save point, and now I'll end the episode. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, ranty rage fest, uh, um, of me playing Hyperlight Drifter. Next time, we'll probably get into the first dungeon, and it'll be fun, and it'll be cool, and we'll have a cool fun time with fun cool things. We're gonna have fun! I say that a lot. This is this is giving me super meat boy feelings already, and I hope you all enjoy feeling like a super meaty boy. See y'all. Bye. And I look forwards. Uh, and I'll pause. God, I need some. I need some water. Sip my water. And I need some granola for some fucking energy, because I'm losing rapidly both the contents of my stomach. Oh, we'll live.